Patients are prenatally diagnosed critical aortic stenosis and evolving hypoplastic left heart syndrome are at significant risk of morbidity and mortality. Several studies have reported an improved biventricular outcome rate in these patients after fetal intervention. Whereas the criteria for EHLHS are widely accepted, the criteria for patient selection for fetal aortic valvuloplasty based on the likelihood of achieving a biventricular instead of univentricular outcome differ among studies. The objectives of the present study were to review the author's experience with valvuloplasty in fetuses with critical aortic stenosis, including short and medium-term postnatal outcome, and to refine selection criteria for valvuloplasty by identifying pre-procedural predictors of biventricular outcome. This was a retrospective review of all fetuses with CAS and EHLHS undergoing valvuloplasty between 2001 and 2020. The primary endpoints were type of circulation 28 days after birth and at one year of age. 103 fetuses underwent 125 valvuloplasties, of which 87.4% had a technically successful procedure. Technical success per fetus was higher in the more recent period than in the earlier period. Decision tree analysis based on the ratio of right to left ventricular length combined with left ventricular pressure had a sensitivity of 96.97% and a specificity of 94.44% for predicting biventricular outcome without signs of pulmonary arterial hypertension at one year of age. Fetal aortic valvuloplasty could be performed with high success rates and an acceptable risk, with improved results after a learning curve. Pre-valvuloplasty RVLV length ratio, combined with left ventricular pressure estimates, were able to predict a successful biventricular outcome at one year of age with high sensitivity and specificity.